Hello everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I would like to share with you how I made this card, the Dragonfly Keeper. For today's card I'm going to be using the new acrylic sprays and one of the mica sprays. So I've got here acrylic spray cranberry red. I'm also going to be using a little bit of emerald green and then I'm going to use this lovely blue moon mica spray and if I just give this a shake you're about to see what a lovely blue this is. I'm also going to be showing you two techniques on creating a background with spraying them onto your card. This one was done by putting a piece of card over the inks and then taking a print so you end up with two backgrounds from one lot of spray. And then this card is done with just spraying directly on to the card. So you can see this one's a more stronger, vibrant colour, whereas this one is more of a softer, pastel background. Moving on, for the inks I'm going to be stamping with today, I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Nocturne, Twilight and Chianti. I'm also going to be using the medium size circle mask for the moon and then I'm going to be using a white pan pastel just to make the moon a little bit whiter. A yellow pan pastel just to highlight around the lantern. I'm also going to be using a stardust glitter pen just to add some sparkle to her wings and to the tops of the fairy thistles. Two gel pens, a yellow and a white one and this is just to create some highlight on our fairy and onto the thistles. I'm also going to be using some Bronzeal watercolour pencils and those are going to be used on the thistles just to give them a bit of colour. For the stamps I'm going to be using Dragonfly Keeper, the Dragonfly from the Bugs Collection, the Group of Fairy Thistles and then Dream from the Collection of Words Inspire Me. So let's get started. To do the backgrounds I'm going to be using the new acrylic sprays from Lavinia Stamps. And this one's cranberry red. So I'm just going to do down at the bottom first. And then I'm going to be using Blue Moon Micro Infusion Spray. So I'm just going to shake it side to side. And then I'm just going to spritz just along the top. And I think we're going to add a bit of emerald green just at the top there. And now I'm going to give this a dry. And there we have our lovely background ready for stamping on. But you can also do this technique. So again, I'm just using scrap pieces of card that I've got in my drawer, spritzing it with some water. So we're just going to give that a good spritz. And I'm going to use the same colours, cranberry red. So I'm just going to spritz this just at the bottom there. And then I'm going to use blue moon mica spray so just shaking it side to side and then we're just going to just gently just blend that all in nicely and then I'm going to go to the emerald green so I'm just going to use my scissors 
just to keep that into place and then we're just going to spritz that then I'm going to give it another spritzing with water and then place my card over the top and closing it so I'm doing an inky sandwich so I'm going to give this a firm rub first and then again I'm just going to give this another rub down there and when we open it up there we have our beautiful backgrounds and then you can just easily just tap off if you've got big and let's give this a dry And this is the one that we spritzed on so if I just move this around you get that gentle bit of shimmer and also it's very delicate into your card and then this is the top piece that we placed on top of our work so again we still get a lovely background so with these sprays you can have them very strong or you can go quite pastely so this is the two pieces when we did our inky sandwich and I've trimmed this one down to an A6 size so that's four inches by six inches so we're going to use this for stamping on so I've just placed the dragonfly keeper just roughly where I want it on my card and I'm using the middle size circle mask and I'm just going to pop that underneath my carrier sheet just so that I know roughly where I want the moon to be and I'm just going to use my magnet to keep it into place and then I'm just going to use a white pencil just to draw around our mask so I'm just going to draw around that and that's given us our white line for our moon going to be using some pan pastel titanium white so with my applicator I'm just going to pick some of that up and then just gently just blend that over our moon just picking pastel up and just blending it around our moon so I'm just going around just blending this in so And then I'm going to place my Dragonfly Keeper just into place, pick it up and then to stamp with I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Nocturne. So I'm just going to ink her up and making sure I'm inking her up really well. And then I'm going to stamp her. And there we have our lovely little dragonfly keeper. Going to use the Sofine Claire Chianti to stamp the fairy thistles so I'm just going to ink them up and then stamp this into place so I think we have one here and then just build it up 
along the bottom. And then one more on the left side. And then I'm going to use these Brunzeal watercolour pencils just to create some colour to the fairy thistles. So I'm just going to quickly add a bit of pink to them. So we're just going to quickly add colour to them and we can if you want just give them a quick colour with some water just quickly blend that colour in and then I'm going to use the dark red and I'm just going to roll my brush along the tip of our watercolour pencil and we can just start to create a bit of shadow to our thistles just by gently building this up So we're just going to keep just adding a little bit more colour to them, just round at the bottom where it would naturally be darker. There. A bit more down at this bottom one, I think. Let's have a look. And then I'm just going to use the dark blue one. So I'm just going to roll my brush over the tip and we're just going to do the very bottom of the fairy thistles. So we just want to create a bit more depth to them. And this one would be quite dark in the distance and then bring this around the shadow underneath there so there we have our fairy thistles I'm going to be working on the dragonfly keeper now and I'm using a yellow gel pen and I'm just going to start to do some highlighting on her and then I'm just using the line just to follow her around so we just need to do that under the arm and over where she's holding that lantern don't forget her other arm and just use your finger just to blend it all in nicely then just do her face there We'll just do a few in her hair. It's a little bit on her forehead. And then I'm going to use some yellow palm pastel. And now I'm just going to start to create a bit of light coming from the lantern. So we just want to gently build up a bit of light. going to go back to our fairy thistles and now I'm just going to create a bit of highlight just by using 
the white gel pen and then just using my finger just to blend it in so that we get a nice gentle highlight there. a bit around this side around here top here I think we have a bit on that one there Now we're going to add some sparkle using the Stardust Glitter Pen. And we're going to work on the wings first. And all I'm going to do is just follow the wings by just doing loads of little dots. So if I just do this wing first, you'll be able to see these little dots, which just creates a bit of interest to our wings. If I just move that around you'll be able to just see there. So we just need to do this to the rest of the wings. There we have our lovely fairy wings. So now we're going to do the same to the fairy thistles, just where the tops are, where these little dots are. So we're just going to now just go over them to create a bit of sparkle. So there. I'm just doing mine random, but you can do them on top of where they are stamped. And then I think I'm just going to bring some of these dots just coming upwards. There. And now we're going to stamp the dragonflies. And I'm going to be using the Safine Claire Twilight to stamp with. So I've got my dragonfly and I'm just going to ink that up and then position this onto the card, just stamping it. So we're just now going to stamp our dragonflies. I just think we'll do one more there. And now we're just going to blend around the edge. And for that, I'm going to be using Distress Oxide Prize Ribbon. So just with my smoothie, I'm now just going to go around the edge of the card. Just by blending this all the way around. So I'm just going to go around here a bit more. And then I'm going to go back to using the same size circle mask just to pop over our dragonfly. And now I'm just going to gently just flick some of this colour out. So I'm just going to bring this all the way down. There. For the bottom right corner, so I'm just going to give that a good rub down and we're going to use the word dream just in the bottom right corner and then I'm going to use versa mark to stamp with so I'm just going to give this a good ink up and then just sprinkle this over the top
And I'm just going to take a little bit of the M and then we're going to heat and boss it. And then I'm just going to pop this over some copier paper. And I'm going to go back to using this lovely Blue Moon Mica Infused Spray. So I'm just going to give this a shake side to side just to get the mica at the bottom mixed in. And then from a distance, I'm just going to gently spritz this there and then give it a dry with the heat gun And then you can see all the little bits of mica there we can see it now see all of that little bits just adding the magic to your card and I'm just using a black watercolour pencil and I'm just doing this just to create some shadow on the fairy so, um, and now I'm just doing my last bit of matte and layering just using my perfect layer guides just so that I get a nice border all the way around my work. So we're just going to do this one. And then we just need to pop that onto our card. So I'm just going to give this a nice firm rub. Just glue this down. then we're just going to place this in the middle of our card blank like so so here is the one that we've just done using our inky sandwich and there's the one that we did when we spritzed straight onto the card so you get two different backgrounds with these beautiful sprays so if I lift this one up, you can see all the little bits of mica on it. And then this is the one that we spritzed straight on to the card. So you can see all of that lovely mica in it. So thank you for joining me today. Please take care and I hopefully will see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.